Jesus Christ. I saw this video now. I know if he talk. Bro, do you know that it was Peter or B that made good luck? Jonathan commissioned the construction of the second Niger Bridge. With them, why do want to take glory? So they already started the project during Peter or B turn up. Oh, they look me like they talk. The vi okay, let me not even talk again. Let me just keep quiet. Watch the video. When you watch the video, finish your respect for Peter Obi. We move from 100% to 220. What am I saying? 300. What am I saying? 400. What am I saying? 1000%. Listen, listen. See all these soldiers the way they attack. They don't even. Ah, Jesus. Alex Oti, the Labour State uh, uh, governorship candidate for, for Abraham State, actually said, even Peter Obi, they made mistakes in a 150 uh, million dollars in Lee Peter Obi. Alex Oti said, 155 million dollars. Some of the investment is even still available to reap dividends by 2023. Come on, if you see, if you know for Peter I'll be now, man, you don't talk to me again. Don't talk to me again. Hope for the construction of a second Niger bridge has brightened as the federal government is set to perform the groundbreaking for the project on March the 10th. This promise was made by President Goodluck Jonathan while receiving a delegation of a number of state indigents who paid him a courtesy visit. Led by the outgoing governor, Peter B, whose tenure expires on the 17th of this month, the delegation thanked the president for his support for Governor Obi and urged him to extend the same support to the incoming governor, Mr. Willie Obiano. So we are the who owe you the appreciation. No, a number of politicians feel that the best thing to do is to be abusing Mr. President or abusing the federal government and so on. That is, you are elected to develop your state. I think the best thing is to have a good relationship with the center. So we are the who owe you the appreciation. Peter of you worked very hard as a governor, very friendly to the government. He is a member of our economic management team as an honorable advisor to the president on uh, uh, finance and uh, uh, commercial areas. And he worked very hard, attended all the meetings, make very meaningful contributions. And in fact, I remember that even the day we announced that he may be leaving. In fact, the suggestion is that, look, we should still keep him, even if he's no longer the governor of uh, a number of states. We have agreed to come on Monday. So Monday is the day. Monday 10th, that's Monday 10th of this month. A few days to quickly do the ground break. At just about 11 a.m. Monday morning, uh, before we rush back to Abuja to inaugurate the, uh, the national uh, conference uh, uh, delegates. And I believe that after that inauguration, work will continue if work is not already uh, taking place there. Uh, the Minister of Works have briefed me that already they have done a lot of mobilization. So we are coming to do a real groundbreaking ceremony. I want to speak about him is that in the media, there has been accusations and counter accusations about the money he left in Anambra State and as a participant at that time in 2013, 2014 I would like to again restate that Peter B actually left the money he said he left and I have documented it in my back page article that I wrote some two years ago on the 8th of June, 2020. I happened to be the CEO of Diamond Bank at that time, and he came to my office. He wanted to leave the money in cash, and we said, no. We strategized and said, we'll invest the money in Euro bonds. I personally helped him exchange Naira to dollar, about $155 million. We are invested in the tier two capital of some of the banks and then in some euro bonds. Some of them have maturities up to 2023. So some of the monies have not matured. 